Yo, what's up guys? Today we're actually gonna be going over a couple ways that you can increase your FPS in Rust and these actually work. Whether you have an old or a newer GPU, I think you can still squeeze a good 20 to 30 extra frames out of these little tips and tricks. And hey, that might be what you need to actually have a fun and smooth experience in Rust. So I hope you'll join me today as we go over a couple ways that you can increase your FPS in Rust. And the first one I've actually gone into Rust. So the first steps we're gonna do is inside Rust and the next steps we're going to do after is outside rust things we can do in our settings to prioritize it but we'll talk about that later the first one i want to talk to you and i feel like no one's talking about this is actually a few console commands that you can do inside rust and i'm going to tell you exactly what they do and what the commands are so this first command here is gc dot buffer space 2048 and go ahead and press enter. So when you set this to a high number, this will reduce the amount of FPS loss you get when there are a lot of items dropped on the ground. So if someone's spam dropping, you know, a lot of stuff on the ground, this will help your FPS. All right, so this next command might be one of the more important ones. So you wanna go ahead and type in effects dot max gibbs you've probably heard of this negative one now what does this do whenever you raid a base like in destroy a stone wall you know how a bunch of like stones crumble this actually disables that and this actually kind of gives you a slight advantage but it'll disable all the crumbles and it'll help your fps when everything's destroyed all right so this is another really important command so these are all pool dot clear commands so these are all multiple so as you can see there's three different ones right here we're actually going to go ahead and do all of them so these these commands right here are perfect for when there's a lot of large bases around you. It basically reduces the amount of FPS when there's a lot of structures around you. So when you're next to a lot of big bases or anything like that, go ahead and type in these three commands and see what it does. So that's what we can do inside the game. Of course, if you haven't already, you know, go ahead and just try lowering everything to the lowest setting and see what happens if that'll give you some extra frames but these commands right here are really important and you definitely want to do those so now i'm going to show you some tips we can do outside of rust and that we don't need rust open for all right so now what we want to do is go ahead and open up our settings app and go ahead and click on display over here once you're on display, hit graphics. So this is really important. We wanna to go to graphics. We gotta go ahead and add Rust to the list. Now I already added it, but if you don't know how to add it, go ahead and hit browse and you gotta find where you've downloaded Steam. So mine's in my Steam library. Go to Steam library, common, click on the Steam app you want, Rust, and we actually wanna click on this one right here. Not Rust client, but Rust. Go ahead and hit add. I've already added it, but it'll actually look like this right here. Easy anti-cheat, but this is still Rust. See, it's rust.exe. We wanna go ahead and click options and we don't wanna let Windows decide. No, sir, we wanna go ahead and click on high performance. So go ahead and hit save here. And then once you go ahead and save there, we actually wanna go ahead and go back to home. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and click apps right here. And then once you're on apps, we wanna go ahead and hit startup. So these are actually applications that start instantly as soon as you turn on your computer so i would recommending just turning off everything like why would i have skype go ahead and turn on while my computer starts i don't know so we just want to go ahead and turn everything off maybe you can keep this one on the windows security notification but you know i would just turn every app off because loading into rust already takes forever all right so this part is only for nvidia users so you want to go ahead and open up your nvidia control panel now these are all features that you would obviously wanna turn on max performance. So you kinda of wanna copy what I do here. So go ahead and click on the first one right here and uh, click this middle one and hit take me there. Now it'll show you all these options. Now I would just recommend copying what I have, but obviously like read these like power management mode, obviously we prefer maximum performance, preferred refresh rate, highest available. Like all these, we wanna go ahead and just turn on the highest performance. They should already be like this, but if they're not, you want to just go ahead and turn it on. I showed you some of the more important ones, but obviously you you probably know what most what most of these do. I would turn off vertical sync and stuff like that. But yeah, that's something I wanted to show you in the NVIDIA graphics settings. And if you want to get a, a more vibrant screen, I actually like to turn my digital vibrance up. It's normally on 50. I like it. The perfect sweet spot, in my opinion, is 59. It'll make your colors just pop. Trust me, you really want to do this. You can also see the differences over here. You can't see it because I'm screen recording, but if you go on your GPU, start messing with it. I like to turn my digital vibrance up to 59%. So yeah, hope you guys found this helpful and I hope this increases some of your FPS. If you would, don't forget to drop a like for me. It really would help me out a lot. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm gonna try to respond to every comment and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.